Hi everyone, welcome to Nikkei IT Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn about how to install Oracle 21C with HR Schema Import. So this is a single video to have all the setup. So kindly follow and you can able to install it. These are all the steps we have to follow for the complete installation. First step, download the software which I have given in the description link. And extract the software by using WinRAR or WinZip. Third step, install Oracle 21C database. Once installed, we can configure the SQL developer and import HR schema. I have given all the queries and commands in the description. So just copy it and follow it. So watch the session till the end. You can be able to install completely Oracle 21C without any issues. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe the channel and click on bell icon so that you'll be getting all the notifications. So without wasting your time, let us begin our installation. Thank you. Welcome to the session. Oracle has different editions. We have enterprise editions, which is a commercial use. And we have the standard edition. This is also we will use in commercial environment. And this express edition, we will use it for academic version. It's a lightweight version. So all the features are available here also. We can go ahead with this express edition. So 21C is the latest version. C is nothing but it's a cloud-based computing and cloud-based database. So first, you will download the software in the description. Go to description, I have given the link. Download this 21C Express Edition. And if after downloading, you'll be seeing these folders. So first, the Oracle Express Edition 64-bit version is available. It's 1.83 GB. So you can right-click. And you can if you have WinRAR in your machine, so just unzip it. So you extract to the last option you can give. It will get extracted. Okay, so just we will extract the Oracle software. Double click on this. So if you see here inside, you'll be seeing the setup file. So you can double click on the setup file. This is an application file. You'll be getting yes or no. Click yes here, and then it will start installing the software. Okay, it will prepare to install. So you'll be getting this particular wizard. So Oracle Database 21C Express Edition. So click on next here. You have to accept the policy. So click on I accept, go to next. Click on next here. So it will get installed here. No need to change anything here. Just to click on next. So it will ask username and password. So if you look at here, this password will be used for sys, system and PDB admin. Okay, these accounts. So we have to enter the password. I'm just entering the password as admin, A-D-M-I-N all in lower case and confirm password also you can enter the same and click on next it will get installed so it will start installing it it will take several minutes okay if you look at here this may take several minutes maybe 15 to 20 minutes or even half an hour it will take so we will wait for that to complete then we will continue so it will take some time. It's based on your system speed and your system configuration. It may take 20 to 30 minutes also. Okay, after installation, you will be seeing this particular page. You can take the screenshot of this particular installation. So if you check here, it is a pluggable database. You have the local host. The host name is local host. Port number will be 1521 and the connection string is XEPDB1. So this is the one we have to make sure that connection string, okay? After giving here, just click on finish. It will get finished. So we have completed one step here. We have just completed installation of the Oracle Express Edition. So once we have installed, we can go to this SQL developer. So I have given link for the SQL developer also. You can you can download this SQL developer. You can right click. So you can extract this SQL developer. So make sure that you have WinRAR in your system. If it is WinRAR, it will extract very correctly. So if you do not have WinRAR, 
you can download and install WinRAR. So it has been unzipped now. So you can see here. So this is what the unzipped file. Double click. Go to SQL Developer. So you can see this application file. So SQL Developer is an application. Okay. So what is this? So I will tell you the setup so that you will get clear idea. So if you ask Oracle 21C, this is the database. Okay. This is the database. You can see here. So this is Oracle 21C. So we have Oracle 21C here and the Express Edition. The edition is Express Edition. So the database, we can have multiple schemas in the database. Okay, we can have the multiple schemas in the database. For an example, I'm going to split up this into multiple schemas. So already system schema we have, okay, the admin schema, system admin, and then we, we can import any other schema. So if you want to create the user schema, you can create it. So logical division of our database. So it's a logical division only. So this is our system schema. So system admin, you can say it's a system underscore admin. The username will be system. Okay. The password is nothing but which we have given admin, which we have given while installing the software. The username will be sys or system. The password will be the admin. Okay. So this is what the username and password. We can import any other schema. So what we are going to do after configuring this system, we for the practicing or in order to practice our SQL, we are going to import this HR schema. So in our previous versions, we will have by default, we will have the HR schema, but in our 21C, we do not have HR schema by default. We have to import it. I will tell you how to import it so that you can follow the same steps. You can import it HR schema tables and you can create any other schema on the right hand side. So you can create a test schema, development schema, or any schema, okay, or core schema. So whatever you want to create, you can create it. Okay, this is our own schema. So this also we will import it. So this is the database, right? Then what is SQL developer? So SQL developer is an application. It's a GUI, graphical user interface. By using this SQL developer, it's a front end tool. If I want to query this database, then I have to use the tool called SQL developer, okay? So this is the tool, the front end, we have the tool called SQL developer. You heard about this Toad for Oracle, right? So anything you can use it. So we have the Toad for Oracle. We have the SQL developer for Oracle. So we, here we have the Toad for Oracle. So whatever the front end tool you are using, the back end, we have the database, okay? We can use any front end tool, not an issue. But the underlying database, only one database, okay? We have the system admin, the user, and we can connect to HR schema. We can connect to dev schema. Any schema, if you want to connect it, you can connect. And then you can query what data is available in the database, okay? So Oracle is a database to store the data and SQL developer is an application. It's an application to see what data is available in the database. And SQL is nothing but it's a language to query this database, okay? So let us open this SQL developer and then from SQL developer, we will connect this underlying database and then we will import the HR schema. Okay, very first time it may ask yes or no, give no here. And then this is what you can see here. Okay, so Oracle database express edition. So this is the database connection. So click on this plus symbol. So what is this plus symbol, right? We are creating the connection from SQL developer to underlying database, which we have already installed. So this is what, so what is the name? Name, you can give any name. So I'm just giving system, okay? System or system admin, anything you can give. The username will be system, okay? The username will be system. The password, which we have given while installing, we have given as admin, you can give admin. Host name will be local host, port number will be 1521. And service name, you can choose. What is the service name we have chosen, right? So here you could, you could see the service name is XEPDB1. So XEP db1 so this, this you have to give if you are giving only xe you will get error so just to click on test so from this sql developer the underlying database it will ping okay from sql developer it will start pinging this underlying database it, it will establish the connection okay this connection will be established and you can see here this has been success okay this has been success now then 
click on connect. So if you want to save the password, you can click the save password and uh, you can save it. So click on connect, it will be connected. So here in the right hand side, it will open workspace. So this is what the workspace, okay? This is what the workspace, you can see. So what are the different, uh, so you can query here, select star from all underscore tables. You can query, so what different tables are available? What different users are available? You may not have any users like HR users, okay? A lot of tables will be available. This is admin schema, you are, we are querying it. This is admin schema, we are querying it. So you can see all underscore table, all underscore users. So that you can check it here. Just to control enter, it will be executed, you can see. So we do not have any HR schema here. So we can make ascending order. So you can see there is no HR schema, right? So there is no HR schema. So what we have to do, we have installed Oracle 21C. This is what we have to install it. So here itself, we can create a tables, but it is not advisable to create the tables here in the admin schema, okay? We will import the HR schema tables. What is the HR schema tables? We do have seven tables, predefined tables. We are going to import it. For an example, we have the tables called, we have the tables called employees. So we have the departments table. We have the locations table. Like this, we have seven tables. So how to import it? So we have the dump here. I have given the HR schema dump. So you can extract, okay, you can extract it. So it will be get extracted. So this is what you will be having the human resource schema. So copy this particular folder. So copy this particular folder, go to C drive. So you'll be seeing the folder called app. So go to this app. So you will be seeing some different name here. So based on your computer name, you'll be seeing this folder. So go to this folder, product 21C. Okay, so here you can find DB Home XE. Okay, DB Home XE. Then you can find a demo folder. So you'll be seeing the schema. So here you have to place, here you have to place this HR schema. Okay, so whatever the different schema we have, so that we have. So this instead of Lenovo, so you might be having different path in your system. So that path you have to make sure that, okay, what is the path we are giving? Place the unzip HR dump in the below path. So we have placed the file, right? So the same path, okay? The same path I have placed. Then execute the below steps in admin schema. Okay, we have to execute the below steps in admin schema in SQL developer, okay? So in SQL developer. So I will give the steps. You can just follow the steps. So you'll be seeing this, this particular path. Okay, so in your system, this path might be different. Okay, this path might be different. So go to this one. So you can see. So you have to make sure that you are in system underscore admin schema. You have to use this at symbol one space we have to give. So give one space at symbol. And then where is this HR dot main dot SQL is present. So that particular path we have to give. If you go to this particular folder, human resources, inside you are seeing HR main dot SQL, HR underscore main dot SQL. It is nothing but it will have some SQL statements, okay? SQL statements, it will be there. If you look at here, so whenever we are going to execute this one, REM is nothing but it will not execute. It's like a commented one, okay? So this is what it will clear. It will create all the permissions, all the users and everything. It will call this particular code. So what we are going to do now, we are going to execute this particular line in SQL developer itself, in admin schema. Make sure that this particular path, you have to mention your system path, okay? Just I'm going to execute this particular line. We'll see now. It will ask enter value for one. So I have given, so what is the value we have to give here? So if you look at here, enter the parameter one is HR. So HR, we have to give and enter the value for two is nothing but specify password for HR. That's the parameter we have given. Specify default table space for HR. So de default table space, we can give users. So that's what users we can give. So just you can give users at the space. The third one, temporary table space. Okay, temporary table space. 
you can give temp t e m p temp then fourth one specify password for system okay system what is the password we have given we have given the password as admin so just to give the password as admin a d m i n admin then it will ask for the log path so what is the log path we have to give so you can give this path oracle home it will automatically take that particular home path it's a parameterized one you can give the same path then connection string okay connection string as parameter 6 so what is the connection string here i have given so this is the one right local host you remember we have copied from here local host colon 1521 slash xcp db1 so this is what we have given so just we will take this control c control v make sure that we are giving correctly click on okay it will alter the session and it will do all the things okay you can see this one so you might be seeing something like error but not an issue so it's showing like hr user does not exist after that it has created okay user has been created user has been altered so you can see all the permission has been given and this is what you can see this execution so we have done with main hr main we will connect it so we will see whether this particular user is available go to new connection new connection you can give the connection name is hr username we have given hr and password is hr okay so local host what is the service name xep db1 so this is what we have to give click test you can see the success so now we have the hr schema so we, it will connect it see here two schemas we have one is system admin another one is hr schema okay in hr schema if you see left hand side so you you might be seeing all the different objects right different objects so you will be seeing the tables is one of the object views and indexes packages procedures functions triggers all this you are seeing it so if you click on the tables you are not seeing any tables as of now so we do not have just we have created a hr user that's all what we have to do now we have to follow the remaining steps execute the below steps in hr schema make sure that you are you are running this particular hr schema and also this particular path you have to make sure so which path we are giving okay so this is very important if you change this path if you are just giving this lenova then you may get error in your system check what is the path so replace that particular path and then you can execute one by one so if you run this particular hr schema so we are not able to see the tables as of now just we have created the schema then we have to execute the below steps we have to execute these statements in hr schema so you have to give correctly in order one by one we have to execute so go here and so just simply you can make use of this particular line so you'll be seeing this table has been created and views has been created populate the table with records so record is inserted in the table and create the indexes so different codes will be there just execute one by one so execute all this particular steps so you are seeing this commit complete then you are saying finally you can execute this one okay after that you can you can clear this one so after that if you execute this con select start from employees you can see the tables so you can see the sample tables In the left hand side you can right click on the table you can refresh it so you can see the seven tables right so you can see the seven tables so by using this you can practice so whatever we want you can create a table you can do even if you want to create any other schema you can create it in this admin schema so i have given all the steps and notes on the dump everything in the descriptions download it all the softwares i have given as a winrar file so download it and install in your extract it and install your machine and then start practicing it so if you find any difficulties in the installation please post your queries in the comments i will respond to it thank you